Don't you hate having to spend tons of money at Apple just to get your MacBook Pro battery replaced? Well, you don't have to. Even if you're not a computer technician like me, you can still tackle this repair on your own. But keep in mind that this is a slightly more intermediate repair than earlier MacBook Pro versions, so you gotta be super duper careful. Before we get started, check out the description below for all the tools you'll need. It's going to take about an hour to replace the battery for your 13 inch late 2016 or mid 2017 MacBook Pro. So let's get cracking. Flip your laptop to its lowercase and you'll see six screws. Use a P5 Pentalobe screwdriver to remove them. Next, gently pull up the lowercase using a suction cup. Once you have a slight opening, use an opening pick to slide around one corner almost halfway on the side. You'll hear the clip pop free. Do the same for the other side. There's one more clip at the top of the lowercase, but it can be a little tough to get free. You'll have to slide the lowercase down away from the hinges. If you're having some difficulty, try to slide one corner down and then the other. Next, peel up the plastic cover that's on the top of the battery connector. There will be a piece of tape that's built into the ribbon cable of the battery board data cable connector. Carefully, peel up a tiny bit of it. Underneath, you'll see where the battery connects to the logic board. Carefully, flip up its locking tab. Holding the back of the cable, slowly slide it out of its socket. This will disconnect the battery board data cable from the logic board. You'll see a pancake screw that's over the battery power connector. Use a T5 Torx screwdriver to remove it. Then, use the flat end of a spudger or your finger to gently lift up the battery power connector. You don't want it to bend up all the way because you can accidentally break it. But, you also need to have it high enough that it doesn't risk making contact with the logic board while you're replacing the battery. Next, we're going to take the trackpad out. You have to be super careful when you handle it because the cable is delicate and there are washers that can easily fall off. To disconnect the cable, take a T5 Torx screwdriver and remove the two screws that are holding the trackpad cable connector bracket. Then, take off the bracket. Using the flat end of a spudger, or your finger, lift up the trackpad ribbon cable. Peel the ribbon cable up gently, and slowly move back. With the T5 Torx screwdriver, remove the eight screws on the side of the trackpad assembly. Then, remove the two at the bottom. Open the laptop slightly so that you can slide the trackpad out. Next, we're going to remove the battery board. To do this, take your T5 Torx screwdriver and remove the two screws holding the battery board data cable. When you lift up the cable, you'll see another underneath that has a white water damage indicator sticker. You can use a tweezer or sewing needle to temporarily remove this sticker because we'll have to put it back later. Now that both screws are out, flip the locking tab at the back of the battery board data cable. Then, remove it from its socket. We'll have to attach the new battery later. Next, we're going to pull out the old battery. There will be some adhesive keeping it in place. You can use a combination of an adhesive remover and plastic card to get it loose. I wouldn't recommend using the pry tool like we did, because you can accidentally slice open the battery, and that can be a fire hazard. Once you get all three batteries free, lift up the battery board and remove the old battery. To clean off the old battery's adhesive, you can now use the pry tool to scrape it off. Then, use a little bit of rubbing alcohol to wipe off the remaining sticky portions. Take your new battery and line it up so that the battery board and its screws line up to where it needs to connect to the logic board. Remove the bottom plastic from the new battery. Leave the top on for now because it'll keep the three batteries aligned. Place it into the upper case and then remove the top sticker. Now, we have to put it all back together. First, put back the two screws for the battery board. 
Then, take your trackpad and gently slide it back into place. Put back all 10 screws that hold it. Gently stick the trackpad's ribbon cable back onto the battery, making sure that it aligns with its socket. Then, screw the trackpad cable connector bracket back on. Next, gently slide the back of the battery board data cable into its socket. Flip its locking tab down. Then, push down the battery power connector and put back the pancake screw that holds it in place. Using a tweezer or sewing needle, place the white water damage indicator sticker back on top of the right screw. After that, take the front of the battery board data cable and slide it into its socket. Flip its locking tab down with the flat end of a spudger. Then, put back the plastic cover that was covering the battery connector. Lastly, we have to put back the lower case, and like taking it out, it's tricky putting it back. Slide the top of the lower case up so that it catches the clips. Then, push down the bottom corners. If you're having some difficulty, slide in one of the top corners first and then the other. Then, put back all six screws. Remember that the two top screws are the largest, while the two bottom corners are the smallest. That leaves the two centermost bottom screws as the medium sized ones. With the new battery installed, plug in your laptop's charger and let it charge fully. Give it two hours to charge, even if it hits 100%, because it'll help calibrate the battery. Once that's done, use your laptop and let the battery drain normally. If this how-to helped, please give us a like. And if you're looking for more tech how-tos or to learn something different, be sure to check out our how-to hub and subscribe. Your next project might be right here. Well, I gotta get back to sorting out my tools, so I'll catch you guys later.